What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Luke and Yoda 2-pack. Oh yeah, that's right. We got a 2-pack and um, yeah, I will be perfectly honest with you guys. Um, I wasn't really for sure about this one. Uh, and you, you've heard me say this before. A lot of times I have to see it. I mean, I can look at pictures all day long on social media or company websites, but until you actually physically hold it in hand and you can look at the details yourself, it's hard to make decisions. And that's the way it is with me. And uh, this particular two pack, um, I was pretty sold on it when I first saw it. The uh, There's a lot of really cool things going on with it. Number one, we got some soft goods. Uh, we got some really good paint details. We got some good weathering. So, But before we dive into the box, let's take a look at it in the box. So right there, we got Luke and Yoda. Got a backpack, you know, blaster, lightsaber. Got the typical stuff on the back right here. You know, when it comes to uh, Black Series figures, uh, the boxes don't usually change a lot. But um, this is actually a really cool one. You know, 40th Empire Strikes Back. Um, I can see where this would be uh, something for either an inbox or out-of-box collector, to be honest with you. Because it has a great presentation uh, in the box. So, I tell you what, let me get it out. We'll take a closer look at it. All right, so first things first, this actually had something in it that I was unaware of until I actually opened it up, or I just didn't notice it, but it actually comes with a second Yoda head sculpt, and this is, I mean, this has some really good detail on it as I drop it, um, but yeah, I mean, check the detail out on this head sculpt for, you know, <laughs> For a six inch figure, I mean, Yoda's not six inch, but you know, the scale, um, it's pretty wickedly cool. Um, Yoda does come with his actual uh, cane or walking stick, but Yoda himself, um, this is just a good looking figure. Uh, we got some good soft goods going on, um, articulation wise. You know, he's Yoda, he does have some elbow bend. But, uh, I mean, this thing with the soft good is such an amazing looking figure. But check out that detail right there. Got his medallion. But, yeah, it is it is a really cool figure. Does have a knee bend right there. So, we'll be able to get some posability out of, out of Yoda himself. So... Yeah, that's cool. And for it to actually come with the second head sculpt, uh, that's just amazing to me. Uh, moving on over accessory-wise, uh, Luke actually came with a, uh extra pair of hands. So right here, we actually have the palm out, which, I mean, again, the, the hand has some great detail to it. Really looks good. And he also has like a choke hand. You know, which that's that's just cool. And this is something that I'm actually really glad to see with uh, Black Series figures is having extra hands. That uh, That's a really cool feature. Uh, the blaster itself, let's see if I can actually get it where we can see it. Uh, it has some good detail to it. I like the chrome on the end of the blaster pistol, but it's a, uh, it's a really good looking good looking weapon so good job on that the lightsaber uh you know we we see light, lightsabers all the time mine's got a little bit of a bend in it as you can see no big deal but the actual detail on the hilt is pretty much spot on so hasbro you did a really good job on that so i'm really really super excited for for that uh moving on over it does come with a backpack, which, I mean, it looks great. I mean, we got the buckles. Uh, the texturing looks really good. 
considering the weathering on the figure i think this could have it could have had a little bit of weathering done on it it's just a little too blue uh but that's not that big of a deal you know sort of dirty it up a little bit but again very nice accessory for uh, yoda to sit in so yeah that's cool uh, as far as luke and, and this is what i was talking about so if we look at luke's pants and his shirt how muddy and dirty he is and then compare it to the backpack so if the backpack itself would have had that same kind of dirty look i think it would have actually looked a little better but as far as luke goes great looking head sculpt right there i think it's pretty much spot on we do have some uh I expect really great articulation out of this figure because there's definitely nothing hindering him as far as that goes. So we'll check him out. Yeah, we got some we got some real good articulation in the old elbows, shoulders, no big deal there. Head rotation, lots of good pivoting. Forward and back's decent. Back is a little bit better than forward, but you can see where it's actually hitting his throat right there. Um, it might be, it might just be me, but the neck looks like it's a little long from the front, not so much, but from the side, I don't know. It could, it just could be me. I don't know, but when you actually the head comes forward, so again, just a little nitpicky right there. Uh, we do have an upper chest rotation, which. That's a little weird looking. As far as an ab crunch, not so much. He's definitely not going to do a sit up. Um, I would have probably preferred a little bit more of an ab crunch than that because if you twist him around like that to like shoot a photo, that's really going to look weird. So I don't know. Hip wise, once again, there's nothing to limit. His uh, hip articulation, he does have an, uh, an actual uh, swivel right here, which is good. Move his arm up. His knees, not too bad. Uh, you can see where the bottom of the hamstring right there is actually hitting the calf, so that's going to hinder his actual um, articulation. But I like the way the pants are wrinkled and how they incorporated this. That actually looks pretty seamless, honestly. Uh, as far as his feet goes, nothing really much going on the up angles because of the actual top of the, the boot right there, the shoe, and not a lot on the side to side. But overall, this is a, it's a good looking figure. I mean, the like I said, the weathering is great. Um, I think his arms should have been weathered a little bit, a little bit, because I mean, if you look at his face, his face actually has a little bit of a, a weather to it. Not a lot, but his arms just look a little too clean. So that's, that's pretty much it as far as that goes. But yeah, right there, Luke and Yoda, Jedi training two pack. Uh, I definitely think this is uh, an awesome pickup. So I'll tell you what, guys, let me uh, let me get everything switched back around and we'll give you my final thoughts. All right. Luke and Yoda, Jedi training two-pack right here. Uh, I will tell you this, uh, the backpack itself, there's a little snap right here. Uh, that would be on Luke's left side. That pops out so you can actually get the backpack on it's a little tricky to get it pop back in place um, I do see that over time if you take that on and off it may become a problem uh, I'm not sure how you'd actually want to display this one but uh, yeah right there it looks good it's a good looking figure um, I don't have a lot of Luke's I really don't um, I, I know that I personally have never really been a big fan of the Luke, uh, figures, but, uh, I will say this one right here, uh, the head sculpt actually looks really, really good on it. So did a really great job. Um, 
Also having an alternative head sculpt for Yoda was really cool. And also having an extra pair of hands. That's a, that's a big plus. I think more black series figures need to have more hands. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Definitely let me know in the comment what you think about that. Does black series need to have more in hand accessories at least? I personally think they do, but hey, right there, Luke and Yoda, Jedi training. This thing, this thing's it's cool, and it looks really good out of box. Um, I think this thing will look really good out there at the Tie Fighter diorama. I know I don't have an X wing, but hey, we can we can work around it. <laughs> I think it'll still look good, but guys, that's gonna do it for this unboxing and review for this awesome two pack. Definitely let me know in the comments if you pick this up and what you think about it. Also, let me know what you think about the actual accessories as far as the uh, extra head sculpt and the actual uh, extra set of hands. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Would you like to see more of that? But guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review uh, as much as I did because I'm actually really happy that I have this in my collection now. So... But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This is your first time on my channel. Please make sure and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop videos. But until the next video, always remember, toys refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time.